Hello! Despite how excruciatingly hot it currently is, which I know in itself is a statement that is going to age poorly as time goes by, and to be honest, so will this entire video probably, today we're going to be talking about something winter related. The upcoming Christmas or New Year special, Revolution of the Daleks. More specifically, my general hopes for the story, since we know very little about it. Will that change soon? Hopefully. Series 13 probably won't be filming on schedule, so it is quite possibly the last bit of televised Doctor Who that we will be getting for quite some time. So I'd imagine when they start publicity for it, they're going to want to make it last. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. My top 5 hopes for Revolution of the Daleks. Number 1. Captain Jack returning. Obviously. Of course, this is no doubt everyone's most desired element of revolution. The return of Captain Jack. After his cameo in Fugitive of the Jadoon, which left everyone both hyped and yet miffed in almost equal measure, and not to mention some less than subtle glimpses of Barrowman backstage in costume while Jodie Whittaker and co were filming a sketch, it's safe to say that Jack Harkness's return, in a circumstance where he actually meets the Doctor, would be one that would be very exciting. I personally want to see where Jack is in his current phase of life, as it's clear that a lot of time will have passed for him between Miracle Day and now, and seeing him catch up with the Doctor would be genuinely fun, and depending on your thoughts of Jack as a character, potentially rather overdue. And since their last meeting, a lot of stuff has happened for the Doctor between the end of time part 2, or for the sake of a proper conversation, Journey's End, and now. And plus, it's Captain Jack potentially doing battle against the Daleks again, so it's time for round three, friends. And let's be fair, if he somehow isn't in the special, then uh, I don't really want to take a look at Doctor Who Twitter after the episode airs because it possibly won't be pleasant. Number two, the Daleks' betrayal is as terrifying as they deserve. Speaking of the Daleks, I'm sensing that for the Chibnall era, they're becoming this sort of festive treat, which is an interesting way to go about them and can possibly be seen as putting a higher level of importance upon them within the era, which they do admittedly deserve. Now, what I hope for is that they're treated with the same element of blood first that made the recon Dalek in Resolution one of the best Dalek portrayals in recent years. It was a cold, calculating murder that pulled no punches, and that is exactly the way the Daleks should always be. I always felt that in a lot of Morphat era stories, with the notable exception of Into the Dalek, that the Daleks' threat was somewhat diminished. Of course, I loved the character study of Davros in Magician's Apprentice. It felt like an 80s Dalek story, but I didn't really love stories like Asylum of the Daleks or Vatry of the Daleks quite so much. Like the Cybermen, the Daleks are this iconic race of hideously abhorrent Doctor Who monsters in their concept that you can do a lot with, so long as you don't portray them as generic murder bots. That's what you should never do. But I digress. If we're getting a revolution of the Daleks, then could we see another Dalek Civil War, with Earth as a potential battleground? It would be pretty intense if that was the truth, but we'll see what happens. Number 3. A good send-off for Ryan and Graham, maybe? Reportedly, Bradley Walsh and Tosin Cole are apparently leaving in Revolution of the Daleks. I mean, after two series of travels, it would be the natural end point on paper for companions to leave, much like, say, Rose Tyler. But I'm hoping there will be a good send-off for these characters if they truly are going to be leaving the show for good. I must say, I've loved Graham. Bradley Walsh's portrayal of him has made him one of my favourite New Who companions. He lights up the screen every time he's on, and it will be a shame for him to leave. But it has to be worth bearing in mind, Bradley has a huge workload, what with filming around 200 episodes of The Chase every year. Furthermore to that, Tosin Cole has apparently won a lead role in a US drama, which would surely make balancing Cardiff and that extremely difficult, if not impossible. Revolution has pressure upon it to give a good send-off for these characters if they are truly leaving after this episode, but seeing as Yaz is apparently not leaving, then maybe... Ryan and Graham will be getting a departure on the same level as Martha Jones, rather than anything too extreme. But who knows, they might not be leaving, they might just have their roles a tad diminished, and frankly, that would tie into hope number four, which I'll get into in a moment. Well, who knows what's going to happen, we'll know when we see the story. As of now, I don't think any official confirmation has been given. Number four, there could be a small yet substantial time gap. 
One of the most intriguing ways to handle a cliffhanger, provided it's not overused, is to start off after an amount of time has passed after the initial cliffhanger itself. To name an example, take Day of the Moon, which had the Doctor, River and the Ponds on the run of sorts for three months. In this circumstance, the Doctor has now been imprisoned and her companions have been taken home. Now, rather than have the Doctor escape immediately, I would be fairly partial to us revisiting the Doctor a few months later, not years, just months. Eventually being told the circumstances of her imprisonment, or even being put on trial, and then executing a calculated prison break plan to get back to her TARDIS and Earth if she didn't get to a satisfactory, peaceful resolution. Either that, or maybe Jack himself breaks her out, and maybe Jack is even in the same prison. I shouldn't feel right so much. Anyway, for the companions, this would allow a good amount of time for their own lives to develop, and when we meet them again, we could meet them all at slightly different points in their lives, having gotten used to life thinking that they may never see the Doctor again, that this once amazing part of their lives has just gone, with no fanfare or even that much of a goodbye, just gone. So how they handled this side of things will be most curious, as it may tie into Ryan and Graham's inability to rejoin the TARDIS team. And number five, that it's a strong story. Probably the most integral of my hopes, I really just sincerely hope that this story is great. It does have a lot to balance in terms of notable events. We have the potential departure of two companions, and at the same time, the reunion of the 13th Doctor with all of her companions, as well as the Doctor finding a way out of her prison predicament, and the potential return of Captain Jack Harkness in a more critical role, and a Dalek invasion on top of all of that. There is quite the workload to include in all honesty, so I'm just desperately hoping that it all turns out good as this could be the last episode of Doctor Who that we get for quite some time, with the global issue that is still ongoing and may prevent filming for Series 13. We'll just have to wait for the trailer to even have the slightest inkling of what we'll get. There is a lot riding on this story, but I simply hope we can pull it off. We shall see. And that was my top 5 hopes for Revolution of the Daleks. What do you guys think? Do you have any particular hopes for the story? Of course you do. We all do. Well, feel free to comment them in the comments section below, and of course, like, comment, and subscribe if you wish to see videos more like this. Funny thing is, it wasn't quite so hot when I recorded most of this video, and now I am melting! It is a struggle, man. But anyway, do keep yourself cold, or lukewarm, or at least hydrated, and get yourself everything you need to keep yourself at an adequate temperature. And with that, I have condemned this video to age horrendously, starting now. Take care, peoples. See ya!